What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. That guy right there is Mike. What's up? Guys, we're into the Badlands, episode three for season three, Carry Tiger to Mountain. We know um, who that is, right? Yeah, so Tiger's obviously <laughs> little That was an easy that was Henry. An easy. Little Henry. Mike, this episode, we got so many flashbacks. A lot of history. It's I want to start before I get into it. Chris and I recorded a video right before the season started. Correct. About uh will season 3 of Badlands be too mystical? Right. And hell no. That's All right? Great. I mean, we got so much stuff. So good. We got so much about about Sunny and and just Ankara mm-hmm. and and what what's what her skill set is and and how about the the Chow background and we found out a little bit more about he was the first Baron Baron uh, Horatio Horatio, Horatio, Horatio Chow. Chow. It, it just jam packed with with info. Yep, right? Juliet. Awesome. We have Juliet Chow. Ju- that uh, Baroness Chow is her name yep. is Juliet. We know that Minerva. The widow was a cog for the Chows. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we see Gaius was a was a kind hearted kid, and of course Julia. You know, th- there was a rivalry there forever, and yeah. you know, so we get to see this because oh my, I actually almost forgot that she finds Gaius in the in the trunk. Like that was, you know, at first <laughs> I'm like, what the hell was this? And then it's and then it goes to the, and you're like, oh okay, so he still sees her as like a friend, I guess, or someone that he he cares about. You know, well, I, well, in the beginning, I mean, we we find out that he's the one that helped Minerva escape from the pig pen, from right. the pig cage yeah, or whatever right. they called it, and Minerva still has that knife. She didn't know that he was the one to do it because right. that's why she was questioning yeah. guys. So it's, uh, yeah, dude, really, uh, like a fucking jam packed history, great fights, fucking better episode than last week for sure. Um, yeah, I, I, it's great- definitely built. Yeah, it's definitely built. And, you know, <laughs> you're right, dude, Jam Pack. There, there's a lot There's a lot to unpack here. So one thing that we said last week, we, we posed the question, will Moon tell, uh, I now want to call him Minerva, but will Moon tell the Widow? And boom, the right only away. scene that they're, that, not the only scene, but like the first scene that he's in with her, he just yeah. walks up to her and tells her. Like, there's no fear there. That, but you know? that, I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. That's, what, that's, that's why I'm loving this show. It's, it's so much fun because it's like, well, boom, boom, boom. Let's not wait. We're not going to wait. We're not going to give you all this little subterfuge. And no, no, no. Boom. You want, yeah. there's, there it is. Boom. Let's move on. Yeah. Right. Sunny. And what makes, what makes her think that she can, um, beat moon in the first place? I mean, he's a right. badass guy. I, that's so what I thought. That's it's what just I two, thought. two real confident fighters. And I mean, that would be, but uh, right now he's like, great... all right, like right now he's her regent and he's, he has, you know, moon has yeah. the, you know, yeah. he, 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 he's got that in him that he's, um, I'm trying to think of the right word. I, I guess the morals or he's, yeah. I'm your regent and yeah, okay, uh, you know, I'll do what you say. But I think that's a, I think that's a, I'll do what you say for now. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, well, I can did, see, I can see a fight between them uh, coming up. I, I, I can, we, there could be potential. I can theorize. Maybe. About if he disagrees many, many with something, fights. if he disagrees with something that she said, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. That was just amazing. I love that. Um, Ankara, you know, the whole... This... Oh man, this episode... I So, I they did a lot of things that I, that we've never seen before. Not only in the show, but in general. Like, mm-hmm. Ankara pulling out the dark... The darkness or the power or whatever it is from Henry in the water. Like, that was insane. Like, that's... Yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. I've never seen anything like that. And, and, I, and I watch everything. You know what I mean? Like... I'm a huge sci-fi and fantasy guy, and I've never seen anything like that. And just yeah. the shot that they pulled of Henry in the water and looking up at Sunny, and it's getting blacker and blacker. Like, man, that was – they're God, they're just doing so many cool <laughs> things a, on this that's show. That's what I was telling you because um, I, I, you know, I wrote it uh, as a question to ask you. Did she lock – henry's gift at first i was like did she did she lock it did she suppress it is it something that he's not going to be able to um get released until he's much older or another person similar to ankara comes along and unlocks, and unlocks it, no, it? she but, so what what i think happened was she didn't unlock it she yeah. says the line i'm only the ointment not the scab meaning yeah. it's she's seeing that as like an open wound right yeah. and it's going to come out like it's going to ooze it's going to so no, she didn't. She didn't lock anything. What she did was she, 
she anointed it for now. You know what I mean? She put she she, it she put or, a band aid on it. She suppressed yeah. it for the time being, yeah. and it's but it's gonna come back out again. But the other piece of information, which is the other flashback we the get, fucking one of the best parts of the whole entire. Apparently, yes. Sonny can go Super Saiyan anytime he wants now. He just has to unlock it. I wrote these. Let me let me write. Let me pose the the quotes that I wrote for this scene, yeah. and let me know what you thought because I wrote a lot of them. Um, well, she says specifically to Sonny Ankara, uh, the black eyes will open if you wake it, which was cool. We see that flashback of, of someone Somebody locking. Lo- the, locking, yeah, it's so um, crazy. And she says to to Sonny, whoever locked this gift inside was much stronger than I am. And she is, right. So it's, it's, a, it's an episode that gave us so much, and now we have – now, who's this person? Right, you know who the mean? hell's that? Who locked him up? Is is this person around? So, it, it, dude, it's just awesome because we just we're getting. Last week we got the the blind cannibals. You know, this week we're getting. We finally meet on Kara, who to Baji, she doesn't nec- he doesn't necessarily trust her. And no, he but he fo- that was his like times. mom basically. Like he it he seemed he followed that way, her, right? You know, and but he's I like, trusted her. And I what's trusted interesting, one hundred percent. Yeah, and here's the thing. She said, he said, you're the I did the. She's the one that sent him to do that. That's. So that whole thing that Baji was like, I got to go do this thing, it was because of her. And he does, mm. and they find out. So this is where um, uh, Baji and, and Sunny find out about Pilgrim. She knows yeah. about Pilgrim, whether she knows about him because she's just a mystic or because she she knew him previous. It's, you know, he hears the message, and he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, she says, yeah, you know, thank you, by the way, for unlocking the apocalypse so now we can cleanse right. this earth. And he's like, oh, my God. And later on, towards the end of the episode he's like all right sonny stop because i know you're pissed because i screwed up again he goes mm-hmm. but i didn't know that that's what, what she was having me do and yeah i just i love it like i love these two guys together like well, it's not it's a damn buddy she, comedy man but it's not you know what i mean like she says there's a reason you two are together right there's a reason you guys you know? yeah, came together so, so she is is she he is. gonna unlock sonny's because he's got the touch man he's got the glow He's got the glow. No, Sonny's got the glow, but Beji's got the touch. Well, you got the touch. Because he does that same thing with, maybe his, with Sonny, his fingers. He's got that heel, that, that, that glowy touch, that iron finger. I call it, instead of iron fist, I call it iron finger. Gross. It was, but, um, no, it's, it's crazy because Ankara also mentions that she's never seen a power, uh, you know, this, this powerful gift in yeah. someone ever. Right. So Sonny's the truth. You know what I mean? Sonny is. What what Pilgrim says, you're the cat. He's the catalyst. He's he's my brother, you know. So it's going to be interesting. And we spoke about this last week about how MK and Pilgrim are going to act. Is Pilgrim going to go, try to hold um, MK there? Is is MK going to say, "Screw you, I'm still going after Sonny? And we kind of got those answers. They gave us so much. Right. In the same. It's funny because I you all right. So Mike and I take notes, right? Well, no. During the show, he we take notes. I we do the same thing as we're going through. I know he's writing his notes. I'm writing my notes, and I pose questions throughout. Yeah. And then I and then, <laughs> but lately it's like I can answer them right. The, like a few, like like get, like 15 minutes later, I'll answer them. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it's like mm-hmm. it's just it's bang look, bang. It's at, and and it's great. It's great because mm-hmm. they're they're giving us a lot. They're giving us a yeah. lot to think about, a lot to chew on, a lot to like like marvel at. And it's just I I just. I had so much fun watching this episode, man. I'm yeah. having so much fun with this show. Another I, Viewmaster thing, which yeah, I, we got to I see like. that again. You know, I just, I just feel like, you know, I haven't been this excited to like sit down and watch a show, mm-hmm. you know. And it's just, what's going on? What are they doing? Who is this? And and everyone's mm-hmm. going to Azra, MK. So he poses MK, and I'm like, well, is MK? Is he gonna keep? Are they gonna try and keep MK there if he tries to leave? And guess what? MK decides. Nope, I'm gonna put the suit on. And I'm gonna do it now. Let me ask you this: yeah. So, what what was that place that they were excavating? Is that a temple? I'm not sure, but they is it because it said that's where the power. They said like people they they forgot about this place, and they're so sure that something is there. So are they? I, I think they're excavating something. Is they're it like the, the temple of Azra or something? Because they mentioned uh-huh. it. Well, the the first temple of Azra is where they are, that dinosaur museum place. That's the I first guess. temple. I guess that's what that. I it thought is. That's it is. What that's, was, what, that's what they. That's what they called it's it. It's a place of Preston power. Said. So whatever that place that they're excavating is, he says, is like a place of power, right? So well, will it be something that forgot, we'll know, know in modern? You know, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking the Statue of Liberty. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be that, but 
you know, something, some kind of monument or some kind of um, place that we would know, I think it may yeah. be. You know what I mean? Uh, At first, I'm like, what the hell are they doing? But then when he's when Pilgrim is speaking with MK and they're getting into this and that. And, and what was interesting about that, too, is you're seeing all the believers, all you're seeing um, widows, widows, um, the former widows, men. You're seeing Chow's men. Mm -hmm. You're seeing, you know, a whole different group of people that are believing the cause. They've all and, come together for this one cause, right? And that's and they make you believe like Pilgrim says, um, put your faith in Pilgrim. Oh, well, Cressida, Cressida says, says put, your yeah. faith, put your faith in Pilgrim and we'll find Azra. And and, and that, that sold MK. Yeah, he's like, that's, oh, that's damn, sold. I've been trying to do this my whole that's life. Speaking of MK, I want to talk about the MK and Nick's and Caster scene. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. look, I'm going to tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy these dialogues. I'm, I'm not going to yeah. lie. There are, there are some times in some shows when you see characters get together and you're like, all right, I know how this dialogue is going to go. And sometimes I'll half listen because it's like I already know that this person is going to end up saying this and they're going to the whole you get the gist of the scene because it's like, oh, yeah, these two people had to talk because this information had to come out, whatever. I don't do that with this show because yeah. it's like the, I love the dialogue. It's just I think it's really well written. It's just for yeah, we, once, we, we mentioned something that is well written. And we so say when, it all the time. And, and, and these pairings and I want I'm going to get into this yeah. a little later, but they are so smart with the pairings like they're having. I feel the fun that I think these writers are having with pairing these people off because you have really cool, let's put it this way. You have really cool characters, man. And mm -hmm. when you have really cool characters that are alone, that can stand alone, when you put them in scenes with other characters that can stand on their own and are awesome, it just makes for really good chemistry. So the scene where the three, and I called them the kids, they're, they, they, yeah. they're called the, ble well, she calls them the blessed ones, I think. When um, she says, so the three of those kids, they're all, they're basically kids, right? Yeah. Nick's caster and MK. And, and she's, he's like, are you going to replace me? He's like, replace you? He's like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? And he's like, oh, you're going to share your bed with him too? Like, does that mean that they're sharing a bed? Or he's just, or is he saying what we're all thinking? This is the point, dude. They're saying the things that us as the audience, because we said, oh, is it, is, you said, is it going to be a love thing between yeah. caster? And it looked like it might have been. And then he shows up and he sees that. And they're just saying it. It's not, there's no hiding again. There's no... There's no let's 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 have this you know under this undercurrent of the no it's, they said it they talked about it and I yeah. loved it great scene it was just a great three individuals who yeah. are in the same boat basically Caster is is well MK's a notch higher right but he but without he's, the but, cutting, but, but but he's not but, I understand no I understand not, what you're saying. but he but he doesn't understand what's happening yet he doesn't yeah. know where he is he doesn't understand what this is about he doesn't know that these two are are mass murderers like he doesn't understand that you know what i mean when he finds that out is he going to want to be one of them and is and is pilgrim going to going to because listen pilgrim first of all pilgrim's a creepy fuck that dude lurks that dude just lurks that dude doesn't give every single time we've had a scene where the kids have talked. Guess where There's Pilgrim's someone, been? Someone was spying or something. Like yeah. this. Like this. You can't see me right now, Mike, but I'm hiding behind my microphone. He'd be looking. Uh. He'd be looking right at him. <laughs> but that's my point. Like yeah. this guy lurks and I love it. He's a he's a creep. But it's great because I'm telling you right now, and he's gonna want MK to kill some people, and I don't know if MK's gonna want to. So let's just keep that in the back of our minds. Now, the thing is, you know. Caster, he's he's man. They, the writing, they let you. It it's, it weaves, man. Because now you feel for Caster, whereas before you saw him as like this killer. Now you see him as like, oh, what's gonna what? Oh, damn! I think I feel bad for him now. I think. I mean, I always. I listen. They're both Nicks. I, I mean, this this show is full of killers, good or good or bad. Yeah, basically, they're all they're all absolute. Killers, they they yeah. made a good point of showing right off the bat what's going that that you can you can uh, feel for caster especially when with the bleeding and and now we learned about that we learned that he's dying Cressida says you're dying um the and and you are right about the more you use your 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 ability you know yeah cause I, she says it, if you if you don't use your ability it might give you a little time but you know pilgrim yeah. pilgrim's not giving up on him and no. and i think he needs to tell no. caster that i'm like oh man you should go tell that boy that he he well, well he needs that you know what it I may mean? be it may be too late especially since well uh, yeah so she so so she man talk you about the you know, pilgrim and Cressida they are the villains I see them right now as the villains but I also see them as a way 
as possible change, but I also see yeah. them as villains. I think because... everybody has that. The widow, you can oh, see well, obviously good obviously. and bad. Um, but I mean, that, I mean, I mean, in I don't mean, I don't mean in a general sense. I mean yeah. themselves. Cressida is a conniving, you know. She's a she's a conniving bitch, and I well, love she, her. She showed I love it. it. She showed it especially. But I this. love it, and she doesn't hide it. Uh-huh. And yeah, she sends Caster out to die. She even said as much. She's like, listen. If you die out there, so be it. You're doing it for pilgrims. So just shut mm-hmm. the hell up and go kill some people for me. Yeah, yeah. you know. And um, a couple of things we learned about Minerva that she, uh, I think we might have, I think we did know this in the first season. Like the reason why she did kill her husband, the Baron, is because he beat her. He beat her, and you know, so obviously that was great with Lydia talking back. There was like a because she, uh, Minerva, the widow, says to Lydia, "Well, what about Quinn?" And he's like, Lydia, "Oh, he he beat yeah. me in other ways, but not physically." Yeah. Yeah, and um, she said something you know, about she became like a walking ghost, and he'd just go off to his other wives, and so yeah. these are two women, obviously, who you know rose up. Oh, from, they're scorned. From, they're scorned, yeah. and listen, it's uh, Minerva, the, you know, the widow. I keep saying, I'm like you now. We we get her. Name. We're not using her name, yeah. but she says uh, at first when 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 Gaius is trapped, she's like, "I'll give my decision in the morning," kind of a thing. Yeah. And right after that, she's speaking with Lydia, and Lydia says, "Hey, listen, um, I wrote it. Uh, where is it? Uh, to win the war, you have to trust somebody." And she kind of takes that. So it's it's kind of cool that she's really taking um, Lydia's word for, "Hey, maybe I should listen to this chick. She's been through quite a bit." And what happens? You know, she speaks with Gaius, and they get to talking, and she lets him go. Yeah, you know, she releases him because she needs him. She needs another fighter. Yep, dude. So, uh, uh, another thing is, I love how these characters find things out. It's very, it's unique and it's fun. She's painting Sonny's tattoos. Now we obviously know exactly what that means. And when yeah. Son- and when MK sees it, he's like, "Oh shit," you know what I mean? Like, but it's the way they find things out. Like it, the mm-hmm. way they found out about Pilgrim is that she, she's like, "Oh yeah, it didn't work." Click and boop, 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 boop. You know, and he's like, mm-hmm. "Dude, it's so." I, I'm loving kudos to these to these writers, man. You yeah. guys, this show is so much fun. And and now I want to talk about one of the reasons why this show is so much fun. All right. Let's get into the end the end part. Because up yeah. to this point, there wasn't any fighting. And, you know, let's be honest, the show has a formula. The show has some story and then some fighting. Um It's a great story. And we always mention Well, that. hold on. Now it's this not is not just this is this Martial is what arts. I'm saying. This is what I want to. Yeah. I want to. I want to go th- do a throwback to what you had said. And yeah. yes, that's my point. Is that you mm-hmm. had said that what's great about this show is it's got great action, but there's also it's wrapped inside of a story. So mm-hmm. when you get this action, like it, it makes perfect sense why they're fighting. It's never just fighting just for the sake of doing martial arts on a TV show. It's never been like that. And but. I, up to this point in this episode, I, I was in th- I was like having such a good time watching this episode. Then I was like, oh my god, it dawned on me. We never got we never got to fight this episode. And I, and I was like, I'm I would be perfectly fine if there was no martial art fighting in this show. If there was no sword fighting in this show. If there was no scuffle in this show. I said I w- in this episode. I I was like I'd be perfectly fine with that because it was such a we got so much other stuff. But this wouldn't be Badlands without some some sort of shit at the end. Of course. Of so course. they left it to the end. Perfect, dude. Let's get into it because, oh man, watching Gaius and Moon flip off the side of the thing, I got chills. I was like, oh my God, this is like watching, like when I, because I, I've seen every Jackie Chan movie there is, you know what I mean? And just mm. whenever you'd see these guys do these stunts and, you know, Jackie Chan's one of my freaking idols actually, Yeah. you know, um, and, and um, he's like the linchpin, you know, and Bruce Lee as well, but like the modern day martial arts, martial art, you know, anyway, point is. I love seeing that. That was so badass. You know, s- s- seeing Caster, like, just d- the blades on the bike, dude, driving around. Like, it's just cool stuff. That boy, that boy can ride a bike, too. But making that's his what little U-turns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just yeah. so – he shows up, and he's like, I'm not, here to, I'm not here to stop you. He's like, I'm here to lead you, you know? And he's like yeah. – and it's just – the things that they, it's so fun that the stuff they come mm-hmm. up with. And and I know you got something in the tank. Hold on one second. Let me just, the other thing that I want to say to why this, this episode is so fun is just the pairings that they do. This is why I can feel the fun. They must have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this person with this person with this person. Dude, Gaius, Moon, and Odessa. That was badass. Boom. 
I don't know that. I don't know if we know the name or anybody even gives a shit about the about that guy, Chow's man. There, but he was like, "I'm out." You know, but, you know what I mean. But the <laughs> fact that they were like, they just like they just pair, like these are three of the most unlikely people pairing up. And Odessa and and Moon just fought. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, who else? Um, when 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 the widow pops out, and, yeah. and she comes down and she's like, "You get it." She tells basically her mom, right? So Tilda tells. Mm-hmm. Um, the widow get out of here she's like shut up you get the hell out of here you know like yeah. I don't know man it's just it's just yes that make all of these things make sense all of these mm-hmm. little words these little actions these little nods they all make sense and 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 that's what makes this show fun is nothing really seems out of place you know yeah. you, we may not agree with what characters do or don't do right but it still seems like it's in place like everything works out really well so you know we, we we got to see we got to see um you know uh Gaius in action again you know Lewis Tan kicking ass again sword fighting you know um which by the way I saw Deadpool uh yesterday oh did you yeah I won't I won't give away any spoilers uh he you know he's in that but uh good good movie good flick I think it was better than the first one uh so if you haven't seen the first one go see that then see this because it works and yeah man tell me man what do you what do you think about that all that stuff man I like the pairings, just like you said. Um, like I had, had just said, you know, um, Odessa had just previously fought Moon not so long ago. Now they're fighting together, so it's it's an alliance kind of thing. I can see the the widow Tilda thing kind of happening again. But I think the biggest question I got from that is Caster when he when him and and Tilda fight, he doesn't cut himself. And turns. He does. You're you know? right. And that happened. And I said, "Wait a minute." I'm like, "Did he?" I'm like, "Did he get hurt? Did he? He didn't. He didn't. Yeah. Yes, he didn't physically cut himself." At first, I I'm thought, like, "Was he hurt?" Maybe, the, maybe the whip around the throat, but I, I, you didn't see any blood or anything like that. So, right. That for me was crazy because just does that prior, mean he stepped up? Cressida was saying, "Yeah, he like leveled up." Cressida had specifically said, and they put that in there for this reason. Mm-hmm. I, I, I believe. Um, he, he'll never be um, as powerful as MK is now because MK has that ability just to turn. Right. And he, and he did it. Was that a, I, I, I don't know, was it resentment? Was it coming from, hey, fuck it, I'm going to die anyway, and something just awoke? Maybe. But that was, that was just really interesting. And I'm excited to see what happens with that, especially where Caster is now. Yeah, but now he got taken. So, and he's like, Pilgrim's going to come for me. So, now I know you don't watch his coming attractions, but the next episode looks insane. And there's some fights in there that you're like, oh, damn. Um, The uh, one last thing, too, man. um, The costumes, man, they're just so good. Even MK's costume was cool. MK was dope. Cressida, uh, not Cressida, um, uh, Ankara. Yeah, her whole getup, the whole thing, the color of her hair, the yeah. like, all this, like it just looked that that set, like it just looks so cool. It's like beyond the wall. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was man. saying with the blind people, they looked like they can be in that cold, dreary, yeah, we, uh, Game of Thrones world. They it's, could be, they could be wildlings. They essentially yeah. could be wildlings. Yeah. Yep, but what? that's that's how it's been. It's it, this episode again is the history that we got. And all these ant- all these questions that we've had from from the series from the beginning of, a, of the she, series. She was in a down well, plane, like more and more. yeah, they're yeah. just like giving. It's like oh shit, that's a down jetliner. Like that's just yeah. yep, there it is. That's yeah. and it's just they're just they're just giving it to us, and it's it's yeah. And I'm, I'm having, excited to see more and more of that because yeah, I think we're gonna get more of that. And like I like like we had said, and and like I mentioned earlier about who was the one that locked Sunny up. Will we see these people mm-hmm. again? How will Sonny gain it back? Because we, we've we talked about this and we theorized a little bit in some of the, the previous videos. Will Sonny and MK butt heads? He's going to he's gonna get it Pil- when, when he fights M- MK. Something like that. Or will Pilgrim be the one? Because Pilgrim mentions, <gasps> I wasn't worthy dude, of the gift. Dude, Pilgrim might turn it on because if he can turn it off, can he turn it on? That's true. See that? He can turn it off. <laughs> so if he has let the ability us know. To turn Everybody off, let us know what you guys it think. On? Because they gave us so much to think about. They gave us so much cool ideas and theories that oh. we can pose after this. So let us know 
oh, what can, you guys think. I want to give it. Can we give a shout out to um, Sherman Augustus? Of course, our he, buddy. He, he chats with us on Instagram. Thank you very much, Sherman. Really appreciate it. And he's always like, guys, and we're like, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> wait till you see this stuff. And we're like, oh, we can't wait. Yeah. You know, he doesn't give yeah. us any spoilers, but you know, he's like, wait, there's some good stuff coming. And we're like, we, we you know, we message him back being like, y y you were so right. And this is so yeah. good. So and we um, really appreciate the interaction with that too. And yeah, and we've even chatted for a brief moment with Daniel Wu, which is, uh, is yeah, awesome. Thanks on for Instagram checking out too, so. I really appreciate it. This show yeah. is, this is, this is right now. I mean, this show is so much fun. It's getting more mm -hmm. fun for me. I don't know about yeah. you, Mikey, but it's 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 oh, getting it's... more fun for me because I'm loving where the story is going, mm -hmm. and and I don't and sometimes I don't normally like where everything like I'm a huge Arrow fan, Flash, Supergirl, like I watch all those shows, Gotham, you know, we watch all the HBO shows, we're doing Westworld right now, and I normally don't yeah. like everything that 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 where the, but you, you're not going to that's just how it mm -hmm. is. You everyone's different. You have different you have different things in your head than obviously the people making the show, but this. This is such. This is so much fun. Like I, I love, I love, I love following this, and I love seeing all these characters. And I feel, I feel for every character. I think I do. I yeah. think I feel for every character, even characters that I didn't like. When somebody, when Tilda pops up, or Minerva, or Moon, or um, uh, you know, Sunny, and Hint, like I'm like, oh yeah, I want every scene. I'm like, yes, I want to know. Yes, I want to know. Yes, there aren't yeah. any characters that I'm sitting here going, ah, I don't really care about that character, you know. Well, it just says it, it shows, and I said, and I had said that. There's like good and bad in everybody, so you can especially you can in the hate bad the lands, widow. Bro. Yeah, you can hate <laughs> the widow, but you can understand. Listen, she was a woman that was beaten as a cop, oh, they, yeah. beaten as a, a a wife. You know, it's they all it, have reasons. Great. They all it's have great. reasons, and every yeah, single yeah. everyone's reasons are legit. Yeah, and it's yep. cool, man. It's good. It's good. So. So um, I'm a little upset because it won't be coming back till June 3rd. So we won't have a Badlands next week. Yeah, which sucks. But you know, it's at least it's only one week, and we're not doing this. You know, you know it's not going to be a mid-season thing right now. So um, you know, we only got to wait one extra week, and we get to and we get to see uh, what's going on. So June 3rd, it'll come back. So uh, I don't know, Mike. Maybe maybe Mike and I'll come up with another little video in between there, or whatever. Uh, maybe yeah. something special or something. Write down, write down in the comments and let us know if you want to see something from us. Uh, in, you know, a theory video, uh, yep. potential fighting, potential battle. You How got a week. Sonny you got a week. Ability back. Let us know what you want to see. That's right. Third Person Pod, of course. Check us out at Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram. We're always posting cool stuff up there. Uh, write, leave your comments up there, too. Don't be shy. And also have a listen to us if you like on iTunes. Damn right. Um, and, yeah, just one last shout out to uh, all the stars that, that watch our show and comment on our stuff on Instagram and stuff. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it and keep yes, up the, yes. keep up the amazing work and we just can't wait to see you know what goes on for the rest of the season so um and uh lastly the, you, you 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 know you guys that watch us and support us thank you so much we appreciate so it much. keep those comments Absolutely. coming and uh we'll see you on the next episode for into the badlands yes sir